what's up guys and i would say welcome back to the station recap but that's not really what we have here today just some more news for pso2 um it looks like we got some details on what will be coming up on 6th of february so this will be a short update video um i would say nothing too big but this is actually kind of cool for those of you guys who are still uh farming um persona eq like myself who weren't around consistently make sure you got your first your first 50 kills around the time frame that everyone else got theirs because there have been well over 50 of these EQs so far. Tons of people have gotten theirs done already, have their light stream weapons, all that stuff. And even those of you guys who uh, multi-ship probably got theirs done even faster. Um, but I digress. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, it actually looks like it, uh, it's probably horrifically wrong. I apologize. Kato or Kato or something like that. I don't know. Kato is what we're going to go with. Appreciate for the translations and the post itself. Um, this is, as always, on Bumped. I will leave a link to this specific part of the website itself. You guys should always keep an eye on this website. I usually check it out maybe once every two days now because I usually tend to miss things. Um, but yeah, once every other day or once every, you know, every two to three days to make sure I'm not missing on anything that's coming up. So I can report it to you guys. However, uh, I can stop, you know, stalling at this point. We have a, uh, a video here. We're not going to watch it, of course, for obvious reasons. Um, but you guys can check this out on your own. It is of the new Trigger Quest, Trigger Quest Spectre of Tragedy. Um, so Persona Triggers release update, or uh, this Persona's Trigger releases this update featuring a four player onslaught upon a level 95 Persona. Only players of 85, 85 or higher can accept this quest. This time around, the arc support effect will no longer aid you in your efforts. However, those who are victorious may find themselves in possession of an Amphrite Stone, or a weapon camel recoloring of Detonation, Allure, Claudem, or Chirala series. So you can either get Amphrite Stones. I'm assuming the regular drop table for this character or for this uh for this EQ exists as well. But you can get an Amphrite Stone, a weapon camo, um, or a weapon camo recoloring of any of these weapons. So it shows all e each of them here. I'm not gonna click on them again for obvious reasons. Um, you guys can check them out on your own when you come over to this website. Also, they're bringing back Revelry of Darkness, which again is good news for those of us who are still farming Persona EQ. Revelry of Darkness is returning from February 6th throughout February 20th. Interlocking boost event will be held, affecting both emergency quests and the aforementioned new trigger vector of tragedy. So the new trigger quest and the um so the new trigger quest and the actual uh, EQ are going to be affected by this. They didn't mention this specifically, but I'm hoping this does also count towards your, you know, 50 kills you need to get of Persona. The trigger quest should count towards that. If so, again, those of you guys with triggers, feel free to hit me up. I'd be more than happy to run your trigger with you. I still need my 50 kills, and I still need two units, um, my rear and my leg units. Yes, I still have not gotten anything I need from Persona, which sucks. Well, that's not fair. Technically, I did get a 14-star weapon drop, so I can skip a good portion of the stones that I need, but... Beyond that, I haven't really gotten anything else. Here's hoping that we get these finished up soon. And if any of you guys are watching this as soon as it goes live, um, we have a Persona at 9 p.m. <laughs> so make sure you don't miss it. Anyway, um, some other cool news that's coming around. Player shop changes. The player shop now allows you to search the prices of special abilities as you're putting them up. You can actually search for specific special abilities under the specific like setup that you might have so it might be easier for you to put things up on the shop i know it's really annoying to have to check okay for this unit i have to check if this special ability is worth this many slots and blah 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 blah. and it makes it swapping in and swapping in. it makes it very disjointed to put things up on the shop where people just tend to get rid of stuff that could end up being really useful or it could end up being worth money um now people are actually putting these things up on the shop hopefully this will help balance and i say this with quotes and very loosely but hopefully this will help balance the um the market on ship two where a lot of um, veteran players or a lot of players that put a lot of time into the whole affixing system and all those sorts of things um they tend to understand the value of what certain affixes are just offhand by seeing them instantaneously a lot of other players don't and they have to search them and this disjointed way of searching them consistently can get really irritating so people end up throwing away things that could be valuable meaning it's going to bring more things onto the market which hopefully drives the prices down a little bit keeps things maybe a little bit more regular granted it might be a little bit too much to ask for in this situation itself but it is a step in the right direction and i do appreciate it plus guys like myself who don't know what these things are worth and have to check for them consistently Makes it easier for me too. 
Um, also, they're bringing back the inventory search. Um, it looks like they're giving you a way to toggle it on and off, which is cool. So it doesn't have to be on all the time if you get annoyed by having that search thing up there all the time when you're trying to you know, hit key or, uh, press uh, keyboard shortcuts and things like that. With your inventory open, you can toggle it on for when you need it, toggle it off for when you don't. So it's awesome. This is back again. Makes it really, really easy to use search for things that are going to be of use to you and then put them away and section them off, which I actually need to go through all of my inventories and get those sectioned off and uh, put some stuff away, put things up for sale. Uh, let's see. Lyrical Magic AC Scratch. So we have another Magical Girl AC Scratch <laughs> coming up. Anyway, you know, I laugh because I don't care. But some of you guys out there, you guys care about this stuff. So you know what? Hey, more power to you. Another AC Scratch. When I look at this, all I see is money. Um, so hey, another AC Scratch is up. Obviously, here are some of the costumes. It looks like it's going to have quite a few camos specifically. All oh, the streamer camo. Oh, streamer buff. Um, BD Hornet, I'm curious. Nah, nothing really. Looks like two male outfits. I believe this one here and this one here. So hey, maybe it's not as bad as you think. Maybe there might be something cool in there. But uh, usually with AC scratches, they do bring back other past AC scratches recolored. So hopefully we'll get some cool recolorings of past AC scratches. And if you weren't aware of that, that happens quite often. So check out the AC scratches, even if it's not something that you care too much about. There may be something within that AC scratch to recolor version of something from an old AC scratch that you do care about. So, hey, that's something else to check out. It's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. That's what we have coming up on the 8th. Um, I believe it's the 8th, right? Or is it the 6th? I think it's maybe the 6th. The 6th of February, my mistake. So we have coming up on the 6th of February. We have this new trigger coming up. So, hey. Hopefully these triggers aren't viciously difficult to get. Um, I'm starting to wonder, it's going to be interesting to see how you can get a hold of them. Maybe people start getting their live streams. I know I've been extremely jaded by the fact that I still haven't gotten anything that I needed. I actually got so bored one day, I calculated the difference of a uh, possible S attack that I would gain from having everything that I need versus what I have currently. And it was a disgusting like 1000 S attack. So it's like makes me really not want to do anything speed run or even close to like trying to complete any content that I care about that's difficult because it's like, hey, as soon as I get a hold of what I need, this is going to be like way faster. I'm going to do it way better. and It's going to be way easier. So it's a little bit discouraging. Um, I know some people have been like, hey, uh, the reason that they're keeping the drop rates of the units so low is to keep interest in the Persona EQ. Um, I personally think that's the really, really bad way of doing things. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys agree, but uh, yeah, hopefully that'll change in the future. Who knows? We all know Sega, so we'll see how things happen. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on another one of these, and I will, oh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Honestly, like, if you guys have anything to say, toss it in the comments. I always read the comments. Everyone knows who does comment that I do it all the time. Um, like the video if you like this sort of content, you guys want to hear about these sorts of things, you don't want to check it out for yourselves. I'm not saying there's anything against you checking it out for yourselves, but maybe you like getting a video perspective of things. And uh, subscribe if you want to keep up with the content. So. Anyway, guys, catch you later. Peace.